Hi everybody, today I want to share with you guys about my book reading experience in 2021. Within a couple of months, I was able to read six books. I never ever thought that I can read books with patience. But you know what? If you deliberately force yourself into something which you don't like, but really want to achieve it and master it, then I'm pretty sure, you know, that you're despised to that particular target fades away and you become, you know, that habit becomes spontaneous. And uh, that's what happened with me. So I'd like to talk about the first book, Grit. So firstly, talking about Grit, it was written by Angela Lee Dockworth. She's a professor at uh, University of Pennsylvania, working there uh, currently. Uh, she talks about, uh, in this book, she talks about success that it's not something that happens with natural talent. Rather, it's the product of hard work, dedication, commitment, and perseverance, sticking into something with your full heart, wholeheartedly. And um, talking about the next book, and my second book was The Power of Habit by Charles Duhigg. Charles is a journalist working in New York Times, and um, in this book, he talks about how we can reshape any of our bad habits uh, with the good ones. And I found this book outstanding in every ways, and I'm pretty sure you will definitely love it. And Resilience, this is the third book I read, uh, and the author of this book is Lisa Leeson. She is uh, a president at FedEx Canada currently. And um, here in this book, she talks about how we can move forward even in the face of adversity, in the face of setbacks and problems, accepting what we can't change and modifying things which we can change to make, to make like life happier. And uh, further, she also talks about the goal setting strategies and how to make them, you know, happen and um, how to deal with the employees being a manager. So I found this book majestic and very, very worth reading. So I also recommend you guys to go through the, this book once. My next read of 2021 was The Marshmallow Test with uh, the, that was written by Walter Marcel. It's a book which talks something about, you know, self-control, how we can control the things, you know, we want to change. So Mr. Walter, he is a professor at, he used to be a professor at Columbia University. He shares the idea of how delayed gratification puts you at the top of your goal. And uh, Mr. Walter, he was able to quit smoking, applying the same formula. And this is the next book, which I want to show you guys. It's Flow, one of the national bestseller, The Psychology of Optimal Experience. And it was written by Mihaly. Um, here in this book, Mihaly, he talks about uh, a state of mind that's flow. If somebody is really interested and is very passionate about something, then the person can fully be involved and engaged in things that they enjoy and love most. So this particular state of mind is called flow. And you know what, he also, the, the most interesting thing I found in this book was that flow is not something, you know, people bring it from the birth, rather it can be cultivated and uh, it can be, you know, developed in the process of life. So I, I highly recommend you to read this book as well. And finally, the sixth book is Becoming. And I'm pretty sure I don't have to introduce this lady to you guys. She is one of the powerful and a greatest leader, um, um, the female and black leader of uh, United States. So in this book, uh, Michelle Obama, she shares about her journey of life, how she fought against the stereotype in society for black people from childhood uh, till present. And she also shares her struggles, uh, which she had to face, you know, uh, to reach up to White House and she also explains what had what was her experience in White House and um, what she what she had to face and experience as, as a first lady of the United States 
so this book is really 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 wonderful so i highly request and recommend you guys to go through this book thank you